I'm pleased to be joined by our Secretary of Agriculture, Russell Redding, a good friend of mine, a good friend of agriculture here in the great Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. And uh, Mr. Secretary, here we are, 101st Farm Show. Uh, what makes this show unique? I'm always amazed, right? So we've been able to celebrate uh, 100th anniversary last year and start a new century this year. And I think about, you know, this has stood the test of time through uh, droughts and wars and uh, all types of challenges, and we're still here, right? And I think part of that sustainability and, and the perseverance is a story of agriculture uh, for Pennsylvania. So this is where folks come to sort of see what is new uh, if you're in the business uh, and to see who's feeding it if you're not. Well, let's talk a little bit about that story of agriculture. You know, I come from a very a rural district. Agriculture is a big part of our local economy. Uh, can you explain how, how it can be so much a, a factor in our local economy and also our statewide economy? Yeah, we, we always uh, you know, talk about the industry being a leading economic enterprise in the state. And uh, the, the challenge is having that sort of put into context because society thinks of agriculture as the farm, right, the farmer. Now, you and I know that that's where it starts in a raw, raw product. The reality is that you've got this entire system uh, that is value added, it's processing, it's the conservation, it's the technology piece. It's a big piece of Pennsylvania. 250,000 jobs directly tied to agriculture in the state, another 280,000 jobs that are indirectly tied to ag. Uh, you can put all kinds of sort of measures on it, but it's, it's in the neighborhood of uh, you know, 50 to $60 billion of economic activity, a big piece of Pennsylvania. What are some of the challenges facing the, you know, what we would call the, the small farm or the, the family farm uh, these days? Yeah, you know, it's, it's always about economics, right? And uh, the markets are such that, you know, you've got to have certain volume to, to, uh, uh, to make the uh, payments on, on buildings and income. Um, but I would say this, I mean, we're, we're, it's interesting in PA, and we've seen this resurgence the last couple of years, where you've got this dichotomy of a lot of small farms doing really interesting, creative, entrepreneurial spirit, right? They're doing direct market stuff. And you have, at the same time, this trend of some larger farms because of what we just noted. Uh, but that's, that's unique to Pennsylvania. That diversity is really unique to Pennsylvania. Um, our challenge as, as policymakers and, and uh, the administration and department is how do you sort of recognize that diversity um, support both of those entities, right? And we found ways to do that, I mean, through direct market. We're in an area where you've got 50 million people in this, in this uh, mid-Atlantic region. Uh, this isn't Kansas, right? It's a great place to be if you're in the food business. So uh, some challenges there, but some great opportunities too. Well, speaking of the food business, a place like this, the, the farm show, really gets to connect uh, a lot of folks who are not farmers, uh, maybe they're from more urban areas or, or they've certainly never stepped foot on a farm and yet they're connected, aren't they, to, to what farming really does through the food market and other things. Yeah, it's where people uh, are connected, right? It's the food uh, It's the food here at this complex with the food court. A lot of folks come in, they may tell you. I visit that often. Yeah, so do I. I mean, you go through there at least three times a day, like at home, right? right. We go, right. We, we eat, and but we don't make uh, often a connection. To, to that uh, in Pennsylvania's sort of economy and the jobs and the quality of life. What we try to do in this show is to sort of make that more tangible, more obvious. That's why we've added sort of the Know Your Farmer area here. It looks at hydroponics and looks at soil types and uh, all, types of, uh, all types of enterprises to include tourism. Right, it was a big part of Pennsylvania uh, economy, and we speak of those as first industries of agriculture and tourism. Uh, you go to, to Bedford, uh, where, where you are, you know, a lot of folks come in for the heritage, but they enjoy that sort of open space and the connectedness to the natural resources. A lot of that's also agriculture. Right. Now, you, let's talk a little bit about a trip you took to uh, South Korea. Um, can you tell us a little bit about why you took the trip and, and what you learned from it? Yeah, so we had the South Koreans here. Okay. Yeah, so they were, uh, they, they came in, uh, their primary mission was to meet with the U.S. Department of Agriculture and the animal health uh, officials in Washington. Uh, and they were looking very specifically at the avian influenza, poultry uh, um, uh, avian influenza, uh, that we are still sort of threatened by. They were here to basically learn from the United States uh, and from Pennsylvania, given that we're one of the largest poultry producers in the country about how to plan for and the biosecurity and the measures. Uh, and it was fascinating because these were producers, but primarily they were scientists. And they were trying to understand sort of what our federal policies and state policies look like. They were fascinated that as a state, we actually had our own laboratory system 
that was linking our land grant university with the vet school at Pennsylvania, University of Pennsylvania, and a lab in Harrisburg real time. That is all a sort of a country, federal nation interest in South Korea. It is a state interest for Pennsylvania. So what, I mean, we have a role in the United States, uh, do you see it as a role, I should say, to, to educate uh, some of the world on how we're going to continue to feed the world uh, because, you know, we're adding more people every year. Yeah, we are, you know, and, and the reality is, uh, the short answer is yes. Uh, you know, we, we are, as a country, 5% of the world's population. 95% uh, of the available stomachs are someplace other than the United States of America. So if you're in the food business, that's 95% of the market. The growth over the next 30 years, the 2 billion people that will, will come onto this planet are coming in uh, the Asian countries, the African countries. Uh, they're not coming here in the United States. We'll have some growth. So long term, uh, I mean, you've got to be looking for new markets, building the markets, building relationships. Uh, the nice thing is that you have in Pennsylvania, both the farmers markets and the futures markets are equally as important to our future. Right? It's not one or the other, it's all, uh, but uh, exciting. And uh, importantly, we have the infrastructure to serve those markets through port, uh, the ports in Pennsylvania. Um, it, it's a really great place to be long term is you have access to people around the world. Great. Mr. Secretary, thank you so much. I appreciate your time. Yeah, pleasure's mine. Thank you. Good to see you.